Hello, Susie here with a New Year's vlog. It's not vlogmas anymore. I'm not sure how to go about this because the plan is not to vlog every day. That would be ridiculous, especially because I'm still behind in the vlogmas, editing and uploading the vlogmas videos. So yeah, I'm not even going to no dailies. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this at first before Vlogmas even started. I thought maybe I would do weekly vlogs, but yeah, I'm not sure yet. Um, it's kind of weird to address a few things, I feel like, because because I originally addressed them in vlogs that aren't that I haven't up edited and uploaded yet but they will be before this one so it's possible that you might have seen those before this one but nobody watches my vlogs so it's very possible that you wouldn't have So, I don't know, maybe pause and go watch my Christmas Day vlog before continuing so you know what I'm talking about because, I mean, it should be very obvious if you already watched that one. <laughs> this is so confusing. So, yeah, I decided not to cut my hair yet. For a couple different reasons, I guess. I don't know. I'm just not ready. There are things I still want to do with it. Also, my daughter Winnie isn't too crazy about the idea of my cutting all my hair off. I mean, it's still going to happen. It is still going to happen because it does need to happen. It's just... I'm not ready yet. Winnie's not ready yet. I don't think you're ready yet. <laughs> uh, quite honestly. So now, <laughs> the plan is to try to hold out until my birthday. June 4th. I will be turning 37. I'm not sure if my hair is going to last that long. Because, like... A lot of it falls out every single day, as I said. So it does need to happen. Cutting all of it off. I'm just not sure how soon. If we can make it until June. I'm not rhyming on purpose, I promise. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm not sure about vlogging frequency. That's another thing. So I thought Vlogmas was every day of December, but I was watching a few different Vlogmas series, and a few of them stopped before Christmas even. So I don't, I don't feel so bad now that I went until Christmas, and then I also did Tuesday after that, but the Monday... And then the rest of the week, I did not. So, I don't feel as bad now. That I stopped. But also, I wanted to explain that... It's not so much that my kids are a distraction from my getting work done. It's just, I don't get to spend very much time with my kids throughout the year, okay, especially Aries, well, especially all of them, but Aries doesn't live here, he's, he lives two hours away with his grandfather and Charlie, my oldest, those two live with their grandfather two hours away, I don't get to see them very often, for holidays, like Thanksgiving, both of them are in town, Charlie and Aries, but because Charlie took a week and a half off of work, she had to make up. I mean, she wasn't able to get more time off 
for Christmas. So she's been at home working. I miss her and I love her. Of course I love her. But it's completely understandable. My my kid is driven. And I'm so freaking proud of her. She's working her butt off to buy a car. And I'm excited for her. But yeah, so I don't get to see my kids very often. And as I tell my friends on my stream, my kids come first. Always. Always. So... If there's a chance to hang out with them, I'm going to take it. I'm going to drop whatever I have to to be with my kids. And it's interesting because in the past, while our case was still open for me to reunify with my kids, they would try to hold this against me. That like, ugh, I'm not even sure how to explain this. But my time is spent kind of weird when it comes to my kids. But I guess people wouldn't understand unless it happened to them. But when I'm deprived of time with my kids, the time I spend with them is... Yeah, I don't know how to explain this. But also at the end of this... I wanted to try to <laughs> also explain that after, after I get to spend time with my kids, I am usually, I wouldn't say it's depression. I mean, depression is yet another symptom of the thyroid, of the underactive thyroid. So I get to deal with it all the time. It's great. But after spending time with my kids, I'm always left in this, I don't want to call it a mood, but like there's, there's a few days where I'm just, yeah, I'm not sure how to describe it, but that is part of why I didn't vlog after Christmas, after Aries left, and this does usually happen after after they're here and yeah so I don't know if you noticed but I am wearing pjs I've been wearing these pjs all day today today was the first of 2023 Sunday January 1st and it was a good day I'd say for the most part <laughs> I did stream the morning after. I made a pretty nice breakfast. French toast, scrambled egg, just one egg. <laughs> because I thought I had three eggs left. One for French toast and two to scramble. But I only had two. So one for French toast and one to scramble. I guess that was enough. I guess it was all right. <laughs> I did also heat up some leftover ham from our Christmas dinner because last night I had used my air fryer and and cooked up some tater tots and Arby's curly fries. So I had some of those with my breakfast also. It's a little weird, but it worked. <laughs> it was good. It was good. Some potatoes. They're just potatoes, right? A variety of potatoes for breakfast. It worked. <laughs> because it's the first, I almost feel like I need to talk about resolutions. Do I have any? I would like to get back into the habit of exercising regularly. I wouldn't say it's a resolution, though. I mean, just things that I've wanted to do carried into 2023 from last year, wanting to be more productive, <laughs> more organized. Oh yeah, that's right. I got a new planner. Isn't she pretty? Got my name down here. I love these planners. They're Erin Condren Life Planners. This is my seventh 
I want to say. I've been getting them since 2016. This is my planner from last year. So I've been transferring all the January events activities into this one. Because I did, since I hadn't had this one yet, I was filling in all the Januaries into a page on in here. So I've been transferring everything. So I'm, so as far as some of those events go, I think I'm ready. I don't, I don't know. I'm aware of them. They're in, they're written in my planner. So what else is happening? Is there anything else that I need to share? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how things go. We'll see. Play it by ear. One day at a time. Right? I'm excited, though. I'm excited for the new year. How about you? Are you also excited for the new year, 2023? Do you have resolutions or things that you want to continue? I did get quite a few Vlogmases edited and uploaded yesterday, Saturday. How many did I get? Four at least. At least four. I'm catching up. So now I have Christmas Eve, Christmas, and then the Tuesday. Hopefully, hopefully I can get them finished within a couple days. Because I imagine tomorrow is going to be very busy. First Monday of the year. I would also like to vlog from other locations also, not just here and in the kitchen, but I'm not going to say like which other locations I can't make any promises. We'll just, again, see how it goes, play by ear, one day at a time. <laughs> that sounds good. Yeah. So that's going to be it for me for tonight, for our first vlog of 2023. So, until next time, don't forget to smile. Thanks for watching. Bye.